Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you guys how I do my clip-ins install using the flip-over method. It's super easy, it looks super natural, and ever since I started doing my hair like this, my clip-ins, I literally have not done it any other way. So I'm going to start by leaving the edges of my hair out. You could do this around your whole entire head, like in the back and sides, but I only did it in the front. And I braided down the rest of my hair in the back. So the hair that I will be using today is from True and Pure Texture. This is their Sasha Curl Texture, and this is like about a 3B, 3C type curl. I'm going to be fluffing it just to give it an extra volume and just to make it blend more with my natural hair. But now I'm just attaching the clip-ins to the braids. I did do about four cornrows, but the smaller the braids, the better. I just wanted to do something really quick, so I only did four. It doesn't matter how neat the braids are in the back, as you guys can see. Mines aren't perfect at all and the hair still came out looking flawless. So like I mentioned before, I'm just attaching the clip-ins to the braids. I did use two packs. Each pack comes with seven sets of clip-ins. And I did end up using all 14 of them, both packs. If you want a fuller look, maybe you could do three packs, but I feel like two was perfect. And you could always fluff out the hair like I was doing in the beginning for a more voluminous look. When attaching these clip-ins, I clip them on to the back of my hair, further apart, and as I get closer to the top, I attach them closer together, just so that you're not seeing any of the braids and you're not seeing any of the gap. This hair comes in at different lengths, starting at 16 inches and can go up to 24 inches. This is their 24. You could do so much with this hair. You could do wash and goes, blowouts, rod sets. You could color it, straighten it, literally anything you'd want to this hair. So it's very versatile. This brand also offers different textures. They have a more looser curl texture. They have a tighter curl texture. So they have different hair and curl patterns that you could choose from that will best blend with your natural hair. Now I'm just fluffing it out some more with my fingers just to give it more volume and a more natural look so that it blends it better with my hair. And there are several ways you could blend your hair to match this curl pattern. I'm going to be using the curling iron today and this is the skinniest that I've found on Amazon so that's what I'm using so that it matches this curl pattern of the clip-ins and it matches perfectly and I'm just going through and choosing my strands that are, are kind of straight or just not curling up the way I want it to so I'm just using this curling iron to make it blend Now I'm just going to be doing my edges and this is going to bring the whole look together for a flawless gorgeous look.
I love doing the flip over method because it literally looks like the whole entire hair is mine and coming from my scalp as you guys can see because I left the front of my hair out I'm able to wear this hairstyle up half up half down in a bun and a ponytail because I was able to leave my natural hair out and you could also do this with more leave out or less leave out it's your personal preference but I just chose to leave a little bit of the front of my hair out but this is the final look I'm obsessed with this hair and the outcome absolutely gorgeous